plaintiff, Jorge Aguirre, is a tattoo artist and is married to the defendant. But he claims every time he goes on social media to post his art, the defendant accuses him of cheating. Jorge insists he has never been unfaithful, and he's suing his wife for damaged property. Defendant Melissa Crew insists Jorge cheated on her twice, and she knows he cheated because she saw a video of him with another woman. Melissa denies owing Jorge for anything. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. So I met Melissa through Facebook two years ago. She used to like all my art. I'm a tattoo artist. She used to love all my tattoos. Um, okay. I hit her. I hit her up. At the time, I was going through a rough breakup, and one of my best friends died. So she was there to um, to comfort me. You know, she was there when I met her. Good. And um, we just we got married. We got married um in March. Okay, so how long had you all dated by that time? We dated for a good year and a half. Year and a half? Okay, yep. that's a good time to uh, know a person. That's about right. I, a year, I advise folks minimal. You know, if I want to move in before a year, fine, and get to know each other even closer or whatever. But that one year mark is, in my opinion, the marriage. Give it one year. You can hide your crack habit for eight months. How long did it take you to find that? <laughs> find him. To find out about him? Not like like three months, really. Three? You found out he was a crackhead in three like... months. <laughs> She's good. I don't yeah. Know. I I don't know. I feel like it. Don't, it really only takes like three months for the, someone to show you their true colors. They're crackhead. Uh huh. You caught him smoking or? No. You saw the pipe? How did you? No. He disappeared for three days and came back. Somebody went to the store. He's, <laughs> I don't do? think he's a crackhead. Oh, he's not. <laughs> the subject was, you can hide being a crackhead for eight months. Then I said, how long did it take? <laughs> and you said, three. <laughs> all right, sir. And a year and a half, you all married after that. Good. How did things go? They went good. It was perfect. It was good. perfect in the beginning. Everything was good. Um, until we got married. That's what I'm saying. After he got married, after yeah. that year and a half, got married, how did it go? Then it just went downhill. What type of things became um, problematic? Like, um, I have a following based on social media. She, anytime I, I, I go on social media, she, she thinks I'm cheating on her. Okay. She thinks I'm, I'm, I'm What type of stuff do you say? I don't, I don't say nothing. I just show my art. I oh, just show my okay. art and I show my tattoos and... She's He's lying, Your Honor. I caught him cheating on me twice. Well, looks like he has tattoos all over his body. <laughs> so if he's showing his art and it's all over his body, oh, girls no. can't help no, but he was see things blown. that you might not appreciate him showing. No, Are they was... all over your body? They're all over my body, Your Honor. No, he was full. The man's trying to promote. You won't even let the man go to work. <laughs> Just because he got tattoos in places you don't like for him to show women. That's not true, Your Honor. All right, let me hear from you then. So yeah, he used to post his um, art on Facebook. And it wasn't just his tattoos, it was his canvas art. His what? To, his canvas art, He's, he paints. Okay, good. Yeah, and um, I really fell in love with it. Yeah. And uh, we ended up chatting one day and we hit it off like um, really strong. I fell in love with him like right away, I really did. And um, everything was really good for a while and then he cheated on me. And he got caught cheating on me. And it was bad. It was a bad situation. It went on for a couple that months. That's true? That's he not had true. The girl, I never cheated on her. He had the girl believing that I was a psychotic stalker and not his fiance. He says he didn't. So what convinced you that he was? I spoke with her. I have video of them together. Well, I had video of them. Well, so she you sent spoke me with video. her. How did you come to speak with her? He posted her on his Instagram mm -hmm. one day. And I wanted to know more about her and who she was. And what did he say under the caption? It was a video of her um, putting up her middle finger and saying, like, uh, like, those scallywagger daggers, like that. He posted so it on his He side? posted it on his story did on you Instagram. Ask, and and what, did she, like, what did he say when you asked him about it? 
He said he doesn't know her. Your Honor, she's lying. No the one ever posted that on you? No, the only reason I said she was psychotic was because she pulled up at the tattoo shop without my knowledge. No, no, we're not talking about that right now. I'm asking you a very clear question. She alleged that you posted something. You heard what she said you posted? Another girl on video on your site? What she flew thing? from from California, Your Honor, and they went to a hotel together okay. in my... In uh, my we're he, not there yet. Did she post yeah. it or not? I, po I posted it yesterday, Your Honor. All right, that's what we're talking about. Why did you do that? Oh, because... I don't know. Okay, good enough. That's why you believe it, and I do too now. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell me about what? things that happened to convince you that he was cheating? Um, well, there was that. We got past that, Your Honor, though, because I married him after that. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to forgive him because mm -hmm. I loved him, and, and I gave him another chance. We good. got married after that. And things were going well for him with his um, career. He's an entrepreneur, he does his art and photography and he's an Instagram figure. And so having a good camera is really important to him. So I, I got him a brand new iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, so that it could have better photographs and better quality content. Good. And things again were great for a while and then I found out that he was um, yeah, again, talking to another person and um, off of the phone that I... What gave you the impression it was something uh, indicating they were messing around? She sent me screenshots of him and her DMs and all of their What did it say, calls. the DMs? Um, they were talking about meeting up at a hotel. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And did they say anything about reading the Bible there? <laughs> no, she Playing told me everything cars? that happened there. We did a three-way call, actually, with her. She told oh, me everything. three-way? Yeah, we did a three-way phone call with him. Oh, phone call. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, yeah. Go ahead. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is a new society we're in. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so anyway, yeah, that happened. And, uh, you I'm, requested that he get on the phone with the girl and three of you all? That's how that me, happened? Yeah, me and her were talking, and, and I saying? said I want in... Uh, he wanted to speak to her as well because he denied it all. What was that conversation like with the three of you? It was really awkward. <laughs> I felt like they, the two of them were arguing back and forth and I was just there. <laughs> Did anybody deny or admit? He denies it. What did she say? She says he's a liar. On the phone? Yeah. She said, you're a liar. You know we she were together. She told him, why are you doing this to me? Why are you lying? Did that happen? Yes, that happened. Well, it was just because she, uh, she, we were going to meet up at our hotel because she wanted I was a, in a, a hospital personal tonight. Huh? Because she wanted a personal I session. She wanted to read the Bible together. Y'all were meeting there for. She wanted a personal session of uh, the tattoo. She wanted me to tattoo her. Oh, I thought it was to. to it wasn't for no like sexual act or nothing like that. It was just for a tattoo. Sexual. He doesn't he have a shop, though? That's not what she claimed. I do have a shop, but she was in, a, she was in another state. So I was going to go see her and, you know. Oh, so he was going to leave town to go to the hotel. She claimed that they that they had a relationship together and they spent the night in the hotel, hotel together and she made him take off his wedding ring to sleep with her. She knew he was married. Mm hmm But when it was time to get in the bed. She made him sleep take his together, wedding she ring She wanted off. to think he wasn't, so. Right. She said, take it off. And I was in the hospital that night. How long had you been there? Or were you there? Um, I was, I had... Before the, the before, before and I was that, there for a week, and when I got home the next day after I got home is when she contacted me and I found out about it. Okay, and how did that end? He just continued to deny. He continues to deny it. He says she's just um, trying to get in between us, and she made the whole thing up. That's what he told the first girl. He had her believing that I was just a stalker, that I wasn't his girlfriend. Wife. Oh, that yeah. was right before marriage. That was before we got married. Yeah. <laughs> That one was. Your Honor, the only reason I say that she's a no, stalker. No, no, don't tell three strikes and you're out before marriage. Ain't, if it's before that marriage and you have three incidents <laughs> in one year, don't get married. Yeah, I don't even know one. about two in one, one year. That was one before we got married. <laughs> and then the other one was after. Ah, I that's forgot, your own judgment. For the first one. I'm just yeah. saying, at some point it gets a little well, too much to Yeah, bear. so anyway, that's why we got into a fight about the phone. Okay, I don't know about that yet, yeah. so it sounds like that's what he's going to tell me about. Sir? Yeah, yes, yes. Um, she did give me a phone. It was a gift from Valentine's. Um, 
in June we had a we had an argument. Um, she was saying I was cheating on her again, and uh, she, she was we were, we were fighting over the phone. She was trying to grab it. It slipped out of my hand and hit the wall. It broke, and that's what that's why I'm it here. Slipped right out now. of your hand and broke. I mean, it was on her hand. It was just like we were just fighting. It was on both hands. Oh, you made it very clear. You said it slipped out of your hand and broke. You did because she was pulling on it too. So it was he like, was trying to put me in this weird. But you had your hand on it and it slipped out of your hand. You said it slipped out of my hand. You didn't say she took it and threw it. You didn't say she took it from me and it fell once she took it. You said it slipped out of your hand. What happened uh, at the end of that when the phone was broke? Did you all stop the arguing? And no, no, we actually had uh, we, we had sex after that. Yeah. We had make up sex, but she thought everything was gonna be straight, but nah, I still want Make up house. sex and then you sue her. Uh, not still, quite I still, made want, up I still yet. want my phone not fixed. Not quite made up yet. Y'all may need to go a couple more rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, what do you say to this? Yeah. The phone. We did get into a fight about the phone, but he was like trying to put me in this wrestling bear hug move thing or whatever, and. The phone got dropped. Sounds like what we call mutual combat. And when you have mutual combat, nobody wins. Because mutual combat means you're in the combat that you all have both agreed to be in because nobody has tried to run. Nobody has said, I give up. No, I did try to run, but she, she, she got me. Your claim is dismissed. You keep changing your story, everything I say. Have a good day. Bye. I love you. I want my phone fixed. I want to say I love you too. <laughs>